What we have agreed at negotiators' level is fair and balanced, takes into account the UK's positions, organizes the withdrawal in an orderly fashion, and ensure no hard border on the island of Ireland, and lays the ground for an ambitious new partnership. But our work is not finished. We still have a long road, a long road ahead of us on both sides. From my side, in the next few days, we will all work on the text of the political declaration of the future relationship with the member states as well as with the European Parliament. And this work will be intense. Our goal is to finalize this political declaration with the UK so that the European Council can endorse it. I took good note of uh, Prime Minister May's statement yesterday. Of course, I don't share the Prime Minister's enthusiasm about Brexit as such. Since the very beginning, we have had no doubt that Brexit is a lose-lose situation and that our negotiations are only about damage control. The agreement is now being analyzed by all the member states. By the end of this week, the EU 27 ambassadors will meet in order to share the assessment of the agreement. I hope that there will not be too many comments. They will also discuss the mandate for the Commission to finalize the joint political declaration about the future relations between the EU and the UK. The European ministers will be involved in this process. The Commission intends to agree the declaration about the future with the UK by Tuesday. Over the following 48 hours, the member states will have time to ev evaluate it, which means that the EU27 Sherpas should conclude this work on Thursday. Then, if nothing extraordinary happens, we will hold a European Council meeting in order to finalize and formalize the Brexit agreement. It will take place on Sunday, the 25th of November at 9.30 a.m.